The San Luis Obispo County Sheriff's Office has confirmed that some kind of remains have been found in their search for Kristen Smart's body, but they have not said whether they're from an animal or a human. Reporter Sean Larson was there at the dig site today and spoke with a friend of the Smart family. Oh, this community has never forgotten, Kristen, and never will. Brad Spence is an administrator for the nearly 10,000 member strong Facebook group, Find Kristen Smart. He's also a family friend of Kristen Smart, the Cal Poly student who went missing in May of 1996. But this week brought new hope. This is probably the biggest thing that's happened since a long time. But many things have happened, and each time our, our hope fades, and the Smart's family's hope fades. On Tuesday, Investigators with the San Luis Obispo County Sheriff's Office and the FBI began excavating three areas of interest near the Cal Poly campus's iconic hilltop P. Items of interest were found at all three sites, including either animal or human remains. Spence spoke with Kristen's mom, Denise, Saturday afternoon. And she just wanted to express gratitude to the county of Slo and the locals here for keeping Kristen's name alive. The sheriff's office is stressing that the remains that were found on this hillside behind me still need to be analyzed and that it's not confirmed that these remains are related to this case. It was nerve wracking. It was scary. Brandon LeMay was a student at Cal Poly when Smart went missing. He remembers what it was like on that campus vividly. I remember the feeling of, man, just, just the unknown. LeMay says the community has kept Smart's spirit alive. You, know, you see flyers and posters and billboards all throughout the community and you have for decades now. LeMay had mutual friends with Smart. Whether it is her, whether it's not, whether this investigation is turns out to be fruitful, I just hope that the family gets some closure. We're really grateful for Ian Parkinson and the Slow Sheriff and the FBI for coming in and taking action for Kristen. Reporting in San Luis Obispo, I'm Sean Larson. A missing boy was found